Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday night uh, hour of prayer here at New Life Christian Assembly of God in Hebrew Mass. I'm Pastor Rick. I'll be with you for the next hour or so praying, um, just praying for God to move. Uh, I wonder, let's see, I see a lot of comments already, so hello, everyone. Uh, let, me, let me make a quick rundown here. Hello, David Brissett. Yes, it was a great day outside. Um, I, I certainly had my lunch out there. Thank you, uh, James, for cooking. Uh, the hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken was great. Amen. Um, okay, James, David, Dolores, Maleda. All right. Jerry Ellis. Hey, Jerry. Sandy Whitney, good to see you on here tonight. Uh, I'll take a minute. Uh, Christine, good to see you out in Colorado. Lisa Jones. All right. Um, Jan, good to see you. Jan, God bless you. Jean Eaton. All right. Uh, Jeannie Ellis. Millie Cobbett. All right. Very good. Christina Marie, how you doing? Christina, good to see you on here. And Pamela, God bless you, my dear wife. All right, I didn't read all the comments yet. I just wanted to say hello to everyone. Um, so I had a good day at church today. Um, I think Stacy shared an excellent word uh, regarding walking in the Spirit and living in the Spirit. One thing I realized when she used uh, Sarah as an example, she used Hannah as an example, and she used Jonah as an example, and uh, I realized after it was all said and done, as the, as the word was kind of seeping into my spirit afterwards, that all those people, you know, the three that she mentioned as examples, uh, godly people, good people, had a heart for God, but yet they did things that weren't exactly, well, let's see, Sarah and Jonah did things that weren't exactly in the will of God. Uh, Hannah was just a kind of a victim of just a prolonged wait as she was waiting upon the Lord and some of the ridicule she took as she was waiting in prayer. But I, I realized um, the greatest examples in the Bible are people who have persevered, uh, people who have struggled, stayed, you know, stayed close to God in spite of their issues, uh, maybe even made some mistakes along the way, but God has always been faithful to restore. And certainly we bring that message uh, to our church and to the, uh, we, get, we bring that message to the pulpit every, every time we preach that God uh, is not looking for perfection. Only Jesus is perfect. He's looking for people with a willing heart to trust Him and to continue to walk with Him. So, um, yeah, we could talk more about that, but great message by Stacy. Stacy, if you're on here, thank you so much for that. Um, I did want to share a little, uh, little devotional real quick here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, so uh, if you have any prayer requests, you could write them down. I'm, I'll make a list in a few minutes. Um, just want to get some paper ready here. But I, on uh, last Thursday at the men's Zoom meeting, uh, Pastor Wayne was out in Utah, and so I had the responsibility of sharing a devotional, and I, I shared a devotional from Psalm 106. I won't I won't go into the scriptures uh, to read them. I'll just tell you. Uh, but Psalm 106 is a great psalm uh, where uh, David uh, is saying, you know, uh, in spite of Israel's many sins, God has been faithful. But in the process of saying all that, uh, he mentions uh, two people by name. One is Moses. And Moses, uh, Moses is, is, was the leader, of course, but he was also the one that interceded for Israel. God was so... Uh, frustrated and angry at Israel. He wanted to just, you know, destroy them and, and end their relationship. But Moses intervened and uh, turned the heart of God, you know, back to Israel in a, in a good way. Um, so we could learn from that, that praying to God, some, in other words, somebody has to stand in the gap. That's what we're doing every Sunday night. We're standing in the gap. Secondly, uh, Psalm 106 talks about how when Moses went up on the mountain to get the law uh, the, and the Ten Commandments, uh, the people of Israel rebelled, they made a golden calf, they, they started to worship idols, 
and they were involved with a lot of immorality and a lot of bad things. <clears throat> but there was one person named Phineas that, that re responded by interceding and praying, and he actually turned the wrath of God away from Israel and caused uh, the Lord to just kind of work with them and have, and have grace towards them. And so, uh, you know, th these are great examples of people who pe persevered in prayer. Ezra is another one, not mentioned in Psalm 103, but in Ezra, uh, what is it, Ezra, Ezra chapter 7, uh, we know this from Daniel's story, that Ezra was the one that prepared his heart and determined to seek God as, uh, as he was burdened to rebuild uh, Israel and rebuild the city of Jerusalem in, in particular. But he purposed, he, it says, uh, he prepared his heart to seek the law, the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach the statutes of the law of the law to the other people but he prepared his heart to do it and so we, we can learn from that and from the message today that sometimes like hannah we don't get the answer to our prayers immediately sometimes like sarah we think we're doing the right thing and we do the wrong thing and sometimes like jonah uh we we do the right thing reluctantly and with a, with a bad heart and spirit, and the Lord is still gracious towards us. But I want to encourage us to, to realize tonight, as we stand in the gap, we're, we're interceding and praying to a God that is righteous and good and holy. He's waiting to hear from us. So on that note, let me, let me begin to make a list. I have a little list already, but let me go back here and uh, see what, I could, what I, we could write down here. Um, James, you had mentioned your back. All right, so we're going to pray for your back. Um, sorry you're having that trouble. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, da, 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 da. hey, Dolores, Melita, okay. Um, I'm enjoying all the fellowship on here. That's great. Uh, the flowers were amazing. They were. Uh, okay, someone went out for ice cream. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Thank you, Dolores. Okay. 97 degrees in Colorado. Wow. All right. Okay. Okay, so Jean, Eaton, we're gonna pray for your knee. And Jan and uh, Clark, we're gonna pray for some healing and for his salvation. All righty. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alinda is here. Alinda will pray for you. Please pray for that, uh, for Chuck. Oh, oh, Gene, you're traveling to Utah. Okay. Also, Diane Chase, this health issues. All right. Oh, Eva, I fell over a curve last Monday. Black, oh my goodness. Eva, my goodness, we're going to pray for you. Um, okay, so your legs, your knee. All right. Well, sorry to hear that, Eva. We'll pray for a quick recovery for you. Oh, Bruce is on. We mentioned Bruce this morning. Recovering from COVID. Oh, Bruce. Boy, he coughed so hard that uh, he threw his back out. Man, that's a, that's a tough situation right there. Uh, I'm in so much agony, can't stand. Oh, good grief. Okay, we'll, Bruce, we'll pray for you, and Linda, and Bob, and Sylvia. So sorry to hear that, Bruce. We will definitely pray. Um, okay, hey, Jeannie, 
<laughs> Mrs. B, present, Jeannie, present, Mrs. B. Uh, James Carter, okay, Jean. Okay, just want to get caught up here. So Christine Mitnick. Um, cold. Okay, just overall health and your roommate. All right. Okay, Tony Adams, good to see you on here. Okay, Christina, please pray for the girls. No, the next thing, okay. Alrighty. Hey, Catherine, good to see you on here. We have missed you as well. Lisa, please pray for my family. Holy Spirit, help me navigate several parental challenges. Absolutely. Okay, I also want to mention uh, this woman, Cheryl. Cheryl was at church a few weeks ago, and she was hit by a car. She's a friend of Lisa Nato's, and I think she's in very critical condition. And the last I heard, they were taking her off of oxygen. So not really sure what the, her status is, but we definitely need to pray for her. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a little notation right here. Um, after Tawny and, and Jeannie were saying hello to each other. I'll check back there in a few minutes. Listen, I, I want to ask you all to join me. Uh, if you can just kind of put everything aside right now, you know, kind of stop what you're doing. Let's just focus on the Lord. Let's just focus on the scriptures I, I read, I, I shared earlier. The Lord is looking for someone to stand in the gap. And so we could be like Moses. We could be like Ezra. We could be like Phineas that uh, saw all the problems and everything going on, and, but yet they took time and diligently prayed and sought the face of God uh, on behalf of Israel. So on that note, let's, uh, let's go to the Lord. <coughs> Father, <coughs> Lord, we love you. We give you praise and glory tonight, Lord. You are worthy to receive our praises. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this morning's service, and uh, the worship time was just wonderful, the prayer time, and um, our fellowship time. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the word of God that was shared by Stacy. Lord, let that word, the spirit-filled life, seep into our spirit and uh, let us be better for it. Let, let your word have its perfect result within us. And Lord, if there's anyone out there feeling like uh, Sarah, uh, who, who made a bad decision, thinking it was a good decision regarding uh, getting her, her, uh, her uh, helpmate, uh, her, 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 her helper, uh, pregnant, uh, it's getting the promises of God uh, outside of the will of God. Lord, we just pray for any Sarahs out there that have made decisions, not, not the right decisions, but not necessarily with a bad heart. We just pray that you'll speak to them tonight. For anyone like Hannah that just prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and was belittled, actually, um, and was made fun of, uh, and she, all she wanted was a baby. And Lord, finally, you saw fit to give her a baby. But she's, she suffered during that time of waiting. And Lord, I know there are many of us that are waiting a long time for answers to prayer. Help us not to grow weary, but to learn from Hannah's example. And Lord, for the Jonas that are out there, people that know you, that are serving you, that know what the right thing to do is, and maybe we choose to do the right thing, like Jonah finally chose to do the right thing, but he did it with the wrong heart. He didn't want those people to repent and get right with you, Lord. But he did it, but he did it with the wrong attitude. And so Lord, there may be some of us out there tonight that are, have done the right things with the wrong heart. And we just pray, Lord, that you would speak to us and deliver us from that. But Lord, we do stand in the gap here. We want to take the example of Moses. We want to take the example of Ezra. We want to take the example of Phineas that stood in the gap and just prayed for each other. So Lord God, we lift up our brother James tonight healing of his back. Lord, I know he had a, a tough weekend with work and having to do things out of the ordinary, he lost some sleep. But Lord, touch his body, touch his back. Let him be able to rest tonight and wake up tomorrow refreshed and in great health. 
Uh, let his back issue not be a serious issue. Let him be well in the name and authority of Jesus Christ. We thank you for that. Father, we want to lift up our brother Bruce Squibb right now. Uh, Lord, <clears throat> healing of COVID in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for his, his uh, back or his lungs. or what, he, he was coughing so hard that he threw his back out and now he's in agony. Lord God, touch our dear brother. Bring healing to him in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord, that you'd heal him of the COVID. Let the coughing subside. Let the lungs clear up. Let him be healthy and strong in the name of Jesus. And uh, Lord, let his back supernaturally be healed in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood over Bruce, over his home, over his family and loved ones in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would deliver him from pain and sickness and uh, an injury now on top of all that. Let him be well. We pray for Linda, healing of COVID in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for Linda's mom and dad, Bob and Sylvia, especially for Bob that has so many health issues to begin with. And now with this issue on top, Lord, it's almost too much to bear. But we pray for Bob. We stand in the gap for the Squibb family. We pray for Sylvia, Lord, healing to her body, strength in her spirit and soul, O oh God. We pray, Lord, for Bob's mental health as well as physical health, as well as spiritual health that he would just sense the presence of God. And Lord, that you would bring deliverance and answers to prayer that have been going on for a very, very long time, much like Hannah. We just pray, Lord, for your hand to be there upon this family. Be with Linda, Lord, strengthen her and encourage her tonight. Uh, be with uh, Bruce and Linda's children as well. Keep them healthy and strong. But Lord, touch Bruce. Uh, we pray that he'll get back to work and be able to uh, get on with his life, oh God. We just call upon your name to minister in that situation. We thank you, Lord. Lord, for our brother James again, Lord, not only the back issue, let him be well. Let, let the job be not a burden for him. Let him get back to work tomorrow without any complications. Let him be well, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, with all of these that we're praying for, we're praying for some physical healing, maybe some direction and guidance and emotional strength. Lord, ultimately, we wanna pray that everybody we're praying for, um, that you would touch, that you would answer the prayer request, but Lord, also in the process, that you would keep their lives and their spiritual lives in the right place. We pray that they would be strengthened spiritually in their inner person, um, that in spite of what's going on, even as they wait, or even as they rejoice, whatever, that there's, that's their spiritual life would be so grounded and so healthy and so good <clears throat> that nothing would shake their faith in you. <clears throat> so thank you, Lord, for that. Father, we pray for Jean Eaton tonight for her knee. We pray that she will not need surgery. And we pray, Lord, for Jean and Chuck as they get ready to travel out to Utah. We pray for traveling mercies in the name of Jesus. Let them get there safely without any problems and uh, let their means of uh, transportation be good and, um, and, uh, <clears throat> and stable. Um, keep them healthy and strong. Uh, we pray against any accident, any calamity, any, uh, any hindrance uh, in their travels. Let them be a great blessing to their family once they get out there. And Lord, bring them back home again safely in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Jan Elkin and Clark. We pray for physical healing for both of them in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, for Clark's salvation. We pray, Lord, as, as a Jewish man, that uh, your Holy Spirit would just do a super work in his spirit, Lord. Just open him up to the things of God. Let him be able to put it all together to recognize that the Messiah that he reads about, uh, that he's read about, probably known about, the one that's coming is the one that already came and is coming again. Let his heart, let his mind, his soul, his spirit be ready uh, to hear the things of God. And Lord, as other family members get ready to visit with him and talk to him, may your blessing and anointing be upon those people that are sharing the truth of your word. Let it be done with respect. Let it be done uh, with, uh, with power. Let it be done with an anointing of your spirit. We pray for his soul to be saved. And we pray for his body and his wife's body to be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Alinda tonight. 
uh, thank you that she's on here from uh, Virginia. We pray for continued healing in her body in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for her sons. We pray for her mom. We pray for her grandkids to all be touched by your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, that you would meet her needs where she is, that she'd get back to work, and uh, you, you would meet her needs financially. Lord, send Christian people her way down in that area, and we just call upon your name. We intercede on her behalf for your glory, Lord, to rest upon her in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, for Diane Chase tonight, healing in her body, her stomach, various issues that are going on with her. We pray, oh God, that you would remember her. Let any medications work well in her body. But Lord, she needs more than that. She needs your hand. She needs the hand of the great physician to rest upon her. So Lord, we just pray for Diane. Let her be well in the name and in the authority of Jesus Christ. And Lord, in all of these prayer requests, we're rebuking the enemy. We're rebuking demonic forces. We're rebuking darkness. Uh, we're rebuking discouragement. We're re rebuking anything negative. And we're pleading the blood of Jesus Christ over every single person for healing, strength, deliverance, for power and anointing in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up our sister Eva Rogers tonight. Um, we thank you for her. We, we thank you she's doing better with her lungs and her heart. But Lord, now she had a fall the other day and uh, hurt her legs and her knee and she's got all banged up in black and blue. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, touch our dear sister. Let her heal supernaturally quick and completely. Let her be well. Let her recover in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for Christine Mitnick out in Colorado. Uh, thank you that she's faithfully been joining us on here. We pray, Lord, that she won't get sick, that you'll keep her healthy, um, that any, any, uh, any um, exposure that she's had to anything would be stifled. She won't get sick. We pray, Lord, that you'll provide the roommate for her in her situation and keep her healthy physically, emotionally, spiritually, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for that. Father, thank you for Christina. Thank you that she's on here tonight. Um, we pray continued blessings over her life, over the life of her daughters, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, for the girls, we just pray for them. Lord, you've been so faithful, and, and they've, been, uh, they've accomplished so much in, in, their, in the last couple of years. Lord, bless them, anoint them, encourage them to keep seeking your face. And Lord, reveal to the family what you would have them, what, what, the, what the next thing is that you would want them to do. Whether it's employment or school or relocation, whatever's going on, Lord, just speak in such a way that they would know your voice. And uh, let it bear witness with their spirit, Lord. And, and Lord, let faith arise. Let, let faith arise. Let them step out in faith to do your will. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray for Lisa Jones tonight. Thank you for our dear sister. We pray, Lord, for her family, uh, the girls uh, and the sons. Bless them, oh God. Bless Lisa as she deals with, with parenting. For any parent or grandparent, we understand completely. And, and there's different seasons within families where sometimes there's a crossroads and sometimes decisions are way more important than others, other times. And Lord, this may be one of those times. We just pray for Lisa to have godly wisdom to know uh, how to be the best mom uh, and provider um, and the best, uh, uh, the best example and the best leader in this case in her home. Bless her, O oh God. Let her know your heart regarding her children. Let the children also step up and seek your face. And uh, let there be a sense of revival going on in the family. And uh, thank you for Janissa uh, recently graduating high school. Bless her life, oh God. Anoint her steps, Lord, and, and be with Lisa, uh, as, as this certainly is a time of transition, probably for the entire family. Help them, Lord, to know your voice in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for Lisa Nato's friend, Cheryl. Thank you that she was at church a few weeks ago. But Lord, this is so so typical of what we say all the time. We never know what's going to happen. So thank you that she was in church. And then shortly after that, she was struck by a car and, and almost died. And, and she may die. The what the, the I'm hearing, she's close to death, oh God. We, we pray for healing physically. We do, Lord. We pray that you would deliver her 
from this sick, from this uh, from, from the uh, effects of the accident, um, the damage done to her body. In the name of Jesus, heal her. But Lord God, also we pray that whatever truth she got that day she was here, that it would resonate in her spirit even now as we pray for her. Let her spirit be saying yes and amen. I believe in Jesus as my Lord and Savior and healer. So Lord, touch Cheryl. We pray for a good report soon that she's getting better in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, for Lisa tonight. We lift up Lisa, Lord. Let her be a, let her be a good friend for Cheryl. Let her be able to visit with her perhaps. Maybe, maybe I can, maybe somebody can visit with her. But we just pray, Lord, for an opportunity to reach out and touch this dear woman with our prayers. But we do pray for her now, Lord. Touch her, heal her body, save her soul in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. All right, let me go back here and see where I left off. Um, yes, it was uh, Tawny and... and oh. oh, wait a minute. Okay. Lisa, okay, I got that. Okay, here we go. Hey, David Newfell, good to see you. All right. Hey, Aaron Evans, going to pray for you, Aaron. We have been, but we're going to continue. For those of you that don't know, Aaron, dear brother in the Lord, has Crohn's disease. It's debilitating. It's, it's a tough, tough disease. Got to pray for Aaron. Uh, Catherine, uh, leaving, leaving rehab after 21 days. Oh, well, praise the Lord for that. Catherine, we'll pray for you. And congratulations for, for uh, finishing the 21 days. Please, let's stay in touch. Okay, Christina, Tawny, Jan, Jeannie, Catherine, Alinda. Okay, Christina. For the girls to be safe while they drive and that they meet amazing Christian friends and husbands. I need this mighty miracle. Christina, from one parent to another, we got you covered. <laughs> uh, I, now I'm praying for my grandkids to find the right mate. All right, uh, Sandy, pray I'm doing the right thing. Have Jesus make decisions for me. I didn't take my insulin. Oh, okay, changed my back medication. Okay, Sandy, we'll pray for you. For the medications and so forth. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Bruce Squibb, okay. Sandy's talking about Bruce. Hey, Gail Zanke, good to see you on here. All right, all right. Well, I've got a few more requests. Let's go back to the Lord. Come on, stop what you're doing. Let's just pray together. Church, please. Father, we pray for Aaron Evans. Lord God, touch our brother. Lord, bring. we intercede for him, Lord. Lord, his faith is good, but it's trying sometimes. He's been so sick, can't eat. This Crohn's disease is doing a job on his stomach, Lord God. We pray, and we pray for the medication to work that he's been taking. It seems to be uh, delayed in, in working. But Lord, we pray that your hand of provision would be there. If you want to use the medication, Lord, use it. But if you want to bypass that and just bless him and bring healing to him, Lord God, do it for your glory. We'll give you all the praise and all the glory. Lord, we'll shout it from the rooftops. Our brother was supernaturally healed. So Lord, please be with Aaron. Touch his life. Touch his situation at work, at home. Bless his kids and, uh, and Shay as well, Lord. And uh, let Aaron's light shine brightly, Lord. Encourage him. He must be a little discouraged. Encourage him, oh God, that you're with him. Even as he goes through all of this, we pray, Lord, your blessing on his life. In Jesus' name. Uh, Father, we pray for Catherine. Thank you. She just finished a 21-day rehab. Lord, that's wonderful. Strengthen her. Encourage her. Let her fill her spirit with the Holy Spirit. Let her fill her spirit with the Word of God. Let her, let her uh, fill her spirit with, uh, with Christian fellowship and, and godly things. Oh God, touch her mind, her heart, her spirit, her body. Keep her healthy and strong in every aspect, oh God. And so thank you, Lord. But um, as, she said, as she said, she needs prayer. Now that she's coming home, she needs prayer. 
and uh, she needs to be steadfast in pursuit of you. And uh, we, so we pray, Lord, a hedge of protection over her. We, we pray against Satan. We pray against demons. We pray against principalities for all of these prayer requests, whether it's physical health, emotional health, an addictive problem, whatever it is, Lord, we pray against demonic forces that are by nature hate us and hate you, Lord. We pray against them. We pray against that in our lives. We pray, Lord, for anyone that's discouraged, anyone that's down in the dumps and, and frustrated and angry or whatever. We pray, Lord, for deliverance and for that, that nagging bad spirit to leave in the name of Jesus, O oh God. So we just call upon you, Lord, do it for your glory. Father, we pray for Kristen again, for her, her girls. Lord, and we pray that they would find the right husbands, the right mates, the right friends, oh God. And Lord, this is a, this is a parent's, a mother's prayer. This is a father's prayer for their children. Lord God, give our children the right friends. Give them Christian fellowship, oh God. Let our kids make the right decisions. Uh, we pray for Christian marriages to come for our children and our grandchildren. Uh, we pray, Lord, that um, your hand of blessing and provision would be there. And also, Lord, we pray for our children, our grandchildren, to sincerely have their own walk with you. They can't live on our faith. They, that doesn't work that way. They need their own faith. And we pray for our sons and we pray for our daughters. We pray for our grandsons, our granddaughters, to have a true walk with you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray if they haven't, that they would very soon, every one of our kids and grandkids would come to a place in their lives where they surrender their will to the will of, of your, the will of God. Holy Spirit, Lord, move upon our loved ones. Bring them to a place of repentance and awareness that all the fun and games, all the frivolity in the world, all the stuff going on is so temporary and so... Um, unmeaningful in the big picture. We pray, Lord, that hearts would be turned to you for salvation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for Sandy Whitney tonight. Uh, we pray along with her regarding her medication. Uh, Lord, give her the guidance she needs to, to know what to take, when to take it. Um, we pray that her meds would be working well with her body and, and all that's involved with the, the chemistry of that. The Lord, touch her, strengthen her, heal her in the name of Jesus. And Lord, for Sandy and for everybody else, Lord, we pray that one day we would be off of all medication on earth. I mean, before we get to heaven. We pray, Lord, that one day we won't, we won't need medication. We pray, Lord, that you would, you would just magnify your presence in our lives in such a great way that all the sickness, all the troubles we have, would be burned off of us. Lord, that's what we're praying for in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if anyone is sick or, or has physical uh, ailments due to stress or due to anxiety or due to worry, Father God, we just pray for help in those areas. We've heard from the medical field that so many people that are sick physically are sick because they're worried emotionally. So, Lord, help us with this. We live in a pressure cooker world, Lord. We need your help. We need your deliverance. We need your healing, oh God. Lord, we're all worried. Let's we we'll all confess it. I'm worried about a lot of things myself. I know the word says not to worry, but Lord, to be honest, we all worry. We pray that we won't worry. We pray that faith would arise. Lord, give us the guidance that we need. Give us the direction that we need. Give us the provisions that we need. Lord, some are concerned about paying their bills. Some are concerned about their children making the right decisions and, and getting a, an education and getting a job to be self-sufficient. Very realistic things to be concerned about. Some are concerned about their car that needs work or their, their, the need of new tires and they don't have money to buy new tires. Um, Lord, we just pray. Lord, let our faith rise up. But Lord, at the same time, we pray for provision. We do. We pray for provision. Lord, we pray that you would send people our way that could, that could help us with certain things. 
um, not necessarily with money, maybe with money, but with uh, wisdom and guidance. Maybe we could be pointed in the right direction to get the right kind of help that we need for a particular problem. But Lord, we just surrender it all to you. Lord, I believe and we believe that as we walk with you, uh, these are some of the benefits of simply walking with you. You direct our steps. Your word says in Psalm 105, 119, thy word is a lamp unto our feet, a light to our path. So Lord, may your word guide us uh, into, the, into the areas we need to be in. Uh, we need to be in relationship with people in. We need to be uh, uh, regarding our, our places of employment. Um, we just pray, Lord, that, that as a benefit of walking with you, you will meet all of our needs. And Lord, some of the needs we could say are not really spiritual. They're very practical. We need money to pay the bills. We got to find a dentist we could afford to get our, our teeth taken care of. We, we, we have to find a doctor that knows about our particular issue. Lord, uh, is it spiritual? Maybe ultimately, but Lord, some, some of us just need practical help. And so we call upon your name, Lord, to do it. And we thank you and we praise you for it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. All righty. All right. Oh. All right. Okay, so Pamela mentioned her sister Debbie. Or Deborah. Uh, Debbie's living out in uh, Phoenix with stage four cancer. Um, thankfully, she received Jesus. Um, we, we will pray for Deborah. We need to pray for Adrian. We need to pray for Scott. We need to pray for, well, we prayed for Clark. We'll pray for him again. We need to pray for my friend Gregory Latino. And uh, anyone else that has cancer. Okay, Donna Susie can't be in tonight, but prayers for my back. <clears throat> Donna, we'll pray for you. Three bulging discs. We will pray for you. Boy, that's the third back problem tonight. Financial decisions. Okay. Lisa Jones said, use me, Jesus. That's a great prayer. Tawny, amen. All right, got that, Donna. Catherine, pray for my dear friend who passed away. Barry, Barry Lay, he was a Christian and had the most loving heart. We'll pray for Barry. We'll pray for his family. Barry's with the Lord, so he's good, amen, if he's a Christian. So we'll pray for his loved ones. We'll pray for his legacy to lead other people to Jesus. Uh, okay. Power, James Carter, the power of a church family fellowship is in the network. It's not what you know, but who you know. Amen. God uses others to help others, and iron sharpens iron. That's part of the church fellowship. Amen. If we see a need, it's oftentimes, oftentimes because the Lord wants us to meet the need. Ah, I like that. That's good. All right, Jeannie. Uh, Bruce, a word of encouragement for the one that was hit by a car. When my brother was a child, he ran across the street, was struck by a car, thrown 12 feet in the air, and landed on his head. He wasn't supposed to make it. My parents called, uh, called for the pastor to come and pray. The church prayed and anointed a handkerchief, according to Acts 19.12, and oil uh, with oil and the pastor took it to the hospital and prayed he made a full recovery and is a successful businessman today god is able thank you jesus praise the lord thank you for sharing that bruce that's wonderful that is a real word of encouragement all right uh, david newfell we're going to pray for you Well, we pray generally, but we'll pray for you specifically. Stress and chest pains. Wow. 
Patty Stauffer, we're going to pray for you, Patty. You were on my mind to pray for, for earlier. Uh, Donna Susie, prayers for family who lost lost their mom and daughter, I think. Oh, yes, I heard about this boating accident uh, under the bridge down there in Newburyport in the Merrimack River. A family of six, four kids and, and a husband and wife, I think it was, were boating. Something happened. The kids were thrown in. The, the wife saved one of the kids, but she ended up drowning. And another little boy, six-year-old, has not been found yet. This was from the other night. Tragic, tragic, tragic. We, we will pray. All righty. Yeah. All right, just making sure I don't uh, forget anything. Oh, Jeffrey and Crusaley. Alrighty. No, Sandy, the little boy didn't, they didn't find the little six-year-old as far as I know. They got, they got the other th three kids, I think, but the one little boy is still not there. And I don't know. Okay, James, I'll take prayer for continued strength and peace, patience. Busy season at work. All right, we'll do that. Oh, Donna said they just found, she's, she heard they just, she just heard they found the little boy, he's deceased. They will confirm it soon, yeah. Very, very, very sad, oh, they found him today okay oh wow we need to pray for that family my goodness what what a heartbreak what a heartbreak the worst what can we say we'll just we'll just pray uh, they did yeah okay okay yeah Jerry pray for family relations How many people are on here anyway? 23, that's great. Praise God for that. Okay, I'm gonna pray again. Please, join me in prayer right now. Stop what you're doing. Let's pray. Father, we pray for uh, Debbie Papaleo out in Phoenix, my sister-in-law, Pamela's sister. We pray, Lord, for healing of her cancer. Lord, give her the guidance she needs regarding what to do about treatments. Lord, touch her body, her soul, her spirit. Thank you that she knows you, but Lord, meet her need, Lord, right where she is right now, in Jesus' name. We lift up Adrian Velez, Scott Hay, uh, Clark Elkin, and Greg Latino, Lord, all suffering with cancer. We pray, we continue to stand in the gap and pray for divine healing. Lord, much like Bruce, the testimony Bruce shared, his brother was so injured, yet prayer was being made, and, and that handkerchief, uh, symbolic of the Holy Spirit moving. Lord, we, we stand in the gap and we pray for these people. Touch them, heal them, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. We pray again for that woman, Cheryl, hit by the car. Let her supernaturally get off that sick bed in the name and authority of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for, uh, for Donna Susie, for her back, Three bulging, bulging discs to be healed in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, also that you would help her with some financial decisions she's going to have to make. Uh, give her the guidance and wisdom she needs. If she needs people that are uh, experts in that area, Lord, let her meet the right people that could help her. But we just call upon your name, Lord, to minister to her in that situation. We pray, Lord, for this uh, gentleman that, that died, Barry. We, we're, we rejoice that he's with you. Uh, based on his confession of faith, 
Well, we do want to pray for his loved ones that he, that he has left. We pray that they also would come to know you if they don't, that you would comfort them in their time of sorrow. And um, we pray that Barry's legacy would be, would, would be one that would encourage his family and friends and others to look to you for salvation. So let his life, oh God, uh, even in his passing, let there be a lot of good that comes out of his life. Let others uh, learn from his example and put their faith and trust in you as their Savior. Father, we pray for David Newfell. We pray specifically for him for stress, chest pains. Lord, let it stop in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch him physically, touch him emotionally. Uh, Lord, we pray for his vehicle to be, to be good and safe and, and, uh, and running. We pray for his finances to be good, that he'd, be, that he'd have the money to put gas in it and make any repairs that have to be made. Lord, just be with David. Lord, you, you have taken him so far this past year. It's incredible. Lord, continue to meet his needs. Let him continue to do well in school, but bless him, take care of him, and meet his needs tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Patty Stauffer tonight. Lord, there's numerous health issues here. Lord, all we can say is, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you would heal Patty. Take the pain away from her back and her neck. Let her be able to sleep at night. Let her do well at, at work every day. Let, let the environment not be a, a detriment for her. Whatever's going on, we pray for divine healing and strength, body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we lift up the family. Uh, where are they from? I don't even know where they're from. So it'll probably be local. Uh, the, the family who lost uh, a loved one, in a, well, now two, in, in a drowning. Lord God, be with the, the, the children. Be with the husband. Lord, we just pray. And be with other family members that are grieving, friends, be with the community that they're involved with that are grieving. It's sorrow upon sorrow. Lord, we heard they found uh, the body of the little boy today, deceased. Uh, maybe that will add some closure. But Lord, it, it has got to be a heartbreak. It's got to be just devastating. Lord, we lift them up before your throne. We ask you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, your word tells us all the time, you are rich in mercy. You are rich in mercy. Lord, let your mercy... Let your grace, let your love abound on those people's lives. We don't know if they know you or not. It doesn't matter right now. We just pray for them, that you would touch their lives, comfort them. And Lord, if they don't know you, we pray that they would come to a place, that this would be a, a situation that would cause them to just fall into your loving arms and say, Lord God, help me. Lord God, save me. Lord God, comfort me. So Lord, we pray for this family and, and the, the loved ones involved to be touched and comforted by your glorious Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for my son Jeffrey and uh, his wife Crusaley. We pray for Crusaley's family that has some issues in New York. We pray for some, uh, what's the word? Some closure for these legal issues that are going on. And, and Lord, uh, work behind the scenes, work through the court system, and uh, just keep everyone healthy and strong and, and let faith arise. Uh, we pray, Lord, for blessings over their children, and um, we pray for good health for both Jeffrey and Crusaley as well. Lord, just touch their, that situation in the name and authority of Jesus, and we thank you for it. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, for James Carter as uh, he's entering into a busy season at work. Uh, with the limousine industry, it's a busy time, I'm sure. Stress, anxiety, long hours, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, organization, administration. We just pray for James, Lord. Let him be a great worker. Let him somehow know how to put all that together and to keep his sanity, keep his mental health and his physical health good. Lord, we call upon your name to bless him and take care of him in the name of Jesus. Lord, also for Danica, we know she's had some, uh, some prayer requests regarding some people she works with up there. Lord, just touch those relationships. Let her be a light uh, in that workplace. And uh, just bless her life, Lord. Bless the Carters. We thank you for them. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for Jerry uh, Ellis. He said, uh, pray for family relations, and we, we do pray for that. We pray that there would be peace and understanding within the family uh, and, uh, and, and joy and the sense of godliness. Lord, we want to pray for every family, in fact, to have uh, good family uh, relations with uh, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, parents, grandparents, nieces, nephews, and so on and so forth. We just pray, Lord, that we Christians in the, in the mix would, uh, would not be a source of the problem. We'd be a source of the solution and that you would give us the guidance and strength that we need to bring peace to our families. So thank you, Lord. Father, on that note, I want to lift up my mom down in New York, 95 and a half. Bless her life, Lord. Keep her sharp mentally, spiritually. Touch her body physically, Lord. We, her, her body is aching. Her bones are getting frozen. It's hard to move. It's hard to get dressed. It's hard to do things. We just call upon your name, Lord. Bring your healing touch to Margaret Amendola in Rye, New York. And we thank you for that, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, I see Tony Casinas here. God bless you, Tony. Uh... Okay. All right. Uh, wow. Sandy said, pray, pray for a little girl who was six years old. The father was using a tractor. Didn't, know his, didn't see his daughter, and he backed up the large tractor and ran his daughter over. She was just home from me. Ay, ay, ay. I tell you, these, these are sad, sad situations, and people need our prayers. All right, I'm going to pray for that. And James, and James, happy anniversary to you. And the cooks, by the way. 11 years for James and Danica. Okay, nothing wrong, just celebrate. Yeah, amen to that. So the Carters have 11 years and the cooks have 10 years, right? That's right, okay. All right, so it's uh, five of. Why don't we uh, pray for these two? Well, three. And then if there's anything else, write it down real quick and we'll, we'll say that in the closing out prayer in just a minute. Father, Lord, the news that Sandy just shared, what a tragic situation. Lord, these things are so, so deep. Lord, we pray that, that families and, and individuals that experience this loss of a child in a, such a tragic way, we pray, Lord, that you would comfort their heart and that their heart would not grow bitter towards you or towards anyone. We pray, Lord, for the, the families involved. Lord, we heard many times when there's this type of stress and hurt that families, they never heal from it with each other. We pray for that not to be the case in, in these two situations. Lord, touch the, the, the father that, that was in the tractor Touch the family, oh God. Bring peace, bring closure in the name of Jesus. And for the other family that here closer to home, we pray for that family to sense your peace, oh God. Lord, I want to thank you for James and Danica's wed, uh, marriage, 11 years. Lord, that was a quick 11 years. Bless the next 11 and beyond that, Lord. Bless them. Keep them healthy and strong. We thank you for them. Thank you for their ministries with us. Thank you, Lord. Uh, that they are, they are connected and plugged in and a huge part of the fellowship here. Bless their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, for, uh, for Justin and Maleta Cook, uh, thank you, Lord, for their 10 years of marriage. Praise, you, praise your name, O God. Lord, continue to bless the family um, and uh, continue to work in them and through them. Thank you for, for them being a big part of the church too. Uh, but bless their lives and uh, let their light shine tremendously in this community 
uh, having both grown up here, they know a lot, a lot of people. Let their light shine in such a way that others that know them would see Jesus in them. And uh, let that be an encouragement to, to seek you out and to find you. So thank you, Lord, for, for all that. In Jesus' name. All righty, let's see what else we got here. Catherine, uh, you've come closer to the Lord in rehab. Amen. I agree, and we all agree with you, Catherine. Very good. All right, well, let's see. Amen, James. Well, I've enjoyed this time of prayer and fellowship. Um, always enjoy the comments and certainly enjoy the prayer. Uh, so it's good to leave everything in God's hands. Amen? Let's see if I, got, if I missed anything here. All right, as soon as I hear... Uh, Sandy, you're absolutely right. We'll continue to pray. All right, I think that's it for right now. Uh, I will close us out in prayer. <laughs> my only regret, James, about the hot dog with the onions, my only regret is that I only had one. <laughs> I should have had two. <laughs> But I did have a hamburger and two pieces of chicken, so anyway. But thank you for doing that. That's great. Always love a good hot dog with onions. All right, let me close out in prayer. Uh, I'll put on some music so you could say a few things if you want. Um, all right. All right, Catherine, amen. Only one person we should hate, and that's Satan. I have no problem with that. All right. Let's close out. Father God, thank you for everyone on here. 23 people. Lord, this is wonderful. Lord, I pray your blessing over every person on here, every person that was on here and had to get off, every home that's represented, every family that's represented. Lord God, we need your touch, Lord. Please, Lord God. Lord, not to mention the condition of the world, the condition of our country, the condition of the economy. Uh, we just pray, Lord, your, your protection to be upon us as we go through this week. Let your protective hand be upon us. Let your providing hand be upon us. Uh, so anyway, Lord, we leave all these prayer requests in your hands. Ultimately, Lord, we pray that everyone on here would have a good, healthy, spiritual walk with you. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive us of any sins in our lives. Lord, Lord, we confess, we repent, cover us with your blood. We wipe the slate clean in the name of Jesus. Let us be ready, Lord. Should you come back tomorrow, let us be ready. And uh, Lord, we pray that you, that you do, actually. Like John said, Lord, come quickly. Lord, come quickly. So Lord, we leave all these requests with you. We pray your blessing now. Let us have a good rest of the night and a great week ahead. In the mighty, powerful, matchless, wonderful, beautiful, powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. All righty. 2 Timothy 1.7, The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. All right, everyone, thank you for being on here tonight. I'm going to let some music play so you can write some comments, and uh, I'll shut this off in about a minute. So God bless you. If we could be, be of any help, don't be afraid to call or text or email or whatever. Get in touch with us. Have a great week and stay close to Jesus. Bye-bye. <laughs>